Request for Blood Moon fixes, right? One, remove troll buff. Two, double blood acquisition for the entire zone, right? To offset troll buff being removed. Because everyone fights in troll buff anyway, which is times three blood. Timesing two by everywhere is kind of a decent offset for it. This promotes fighting in all places in the zone, as opposed to all in one place, which will reduce overall zone lag as well, because there's less data being sent to as many players, you know, between each other. Um, every single time there's an event, you randomly disable two of the altars so that people don't fight in the same place all the time. Um, and then, so this, what this is going to do is it won't spread players out too much, but it will encourage fighting around three altars approximately in the zone. That way you have significantly less clusterfuck and lag, so the zone won't lag for everyone every single event, and it will feel decent to play. Another change they need to do is combine the beach and the uh, arena altar. The arena altar has a massive choke point, which is really annoying. And the beach altar, if you draw a circle around each altar, that's generally where people are fighting. Half of that circle at the beach is in the water, and so this fighting is way more clustered than other zones. So then what you do is you add in a new altar. Where can you add a new altar? Up here with really, really cool architecture. Uh, and then that's that's the easy stuff to do. If they want a little bit more, you know, time required to do it, then what they do is they add some more line of sight to certain architecture. So for example, up here, loads of the walls and stuff, you can they, they don't count as line of, as line of sight. So if they added line of sight to these walls, then there'd be a lot more strategy in terms of the gameplay. Next thing they could do is, obviously when you get the pussy buff, you cannot fight anyone on the same faction, but you can still get killed by people on the opposite faction. So it's still kind of a clusterfuck. Uh, people with the pussy buff should just be put on a non-Blood Moon layer. This way, the Blood Moon layers can have no mob spawns around the altars because the mobs are just super annoying and don't add anything to the event. Uh, and then the last extra credit, oh my god, 40 silver per life, heaven, no thanks, uh, is extra modes. So you have a solo mode, so you can, t you can toggle buffs as at the pussy vendor. That you toggle the event off. You can also toggle solo mode where you, you get put onto a layer with other solos. Uh, or a free man mode where you get put onto other free mans. Or uh, the hardcore mode as I was talking about before that makes it kind of like a battle royale. Where you end up getting kicked out straight away if you die. But if you kill someone you get all of their blood. Slowly the, slowly the altars are despawning. And if you are in the event when all altars have despawned, then the boss comes and kills you and you lose all your blood. So it's incentivized to try to escape with as much blood as possible towards the end of the event. Obviously, then you can add in some more cosmetic blood rewards that are a lot harder to get and require a lot more game time to incentivize people playing in this mode. Um, and this makes it a lot more competitive and interesting and gives it more longevity in terms of gameplay rather than just raid logging and going AFK or doing two blood moons for your new ring and calling that the content for the phase. So yeah, that was all of my ideas for blood moon. Not a lot of it actually takes a lot of time to implement uh, and they could have done a lot of that for this phase and it would have kept it really, really fresh. Um, right, where are we going? 